Hey Ross World, my money makes money. 401k or killing them, who knows, was created in 1984 for regular Americans to establish wealth and also have retirement plans. This was meant tax deductible contributions from your payroll check, then going to a 401k plan. Now, up until 2012, the government did not know what these 401k plans actually entail, so they forced them to disclose detailed information of the hidden fees inside of 401k plans. No one actually knew how much they were taking out of your savings. So this is very important to know. Now, over 90 million Americans are in 401k plans, and that's over $6 trillion invested. Now, this was a good thing for the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, and even for some today, not all. 71% of people in 401k plans think that 401k plans has no fees, while 92% of them admit they have no idea what the fees are. Now, a lot of my information is coming out of Tony Robbins' book, Unshakable, where he went and did extensive research for a very long time, also Investopedia, also Nerd Wallet, and a bunch of little Google searches that I've done. So this is well planned out. It took me a while, Ross World, but nevertheless, here it is. Please stay with me. Now, Robert Hilton Smith of this think tank called Demos, he wrote a report called The Retirement Savings Drain, The Retirement Savings Drain, The Hidden and Excessive Cost of 401k Plans. Now, 401k plans are usually ran by mutual funds, those actively managed funds that I always talk about those fees versus the index funds. Now, Forbes reports says that it's costing you or costing most Americans 3.17% a year to actually have a 401k plan. That doesn't include the additional fees charged by the plan provider. So that's only just to have the 401k plan, but there's a lot of other associated fees that nobody really knows about, but I'm gonna try to let you know quickly here. Now, most 401k plans are actually ran by brokers. And what do brokers usually get from any plans that they manage? Commissions. Now, here are some of the expenses and charges you may see or heard of that they actually charge you. Some may be a few and some may be all for your 401k plan. This is ridiculous. Investment expenses. Really? Communication expense. Legal expense. Transactional expense. Stewardship expense. Stewardship trustee expense and some of the charges are net asset charge asset management charge and contract asset charge this is ridiculous ross where you really have to dig into your 401k now how much does it cost you if you made thirty thousand dollars a year and you save five percent of that thirty thousand over the course of the lifetime, because of all these fees and charges and hidden charges, it will cost you around $154,794 in fees. That's more than five years of income that they will be taken away from you and simply just fee. Now, if you made $90,000 over the course of your lifetime with your 401k plan, it will cost you $277,000 in fees. Are you freaking kidding me? God damn. 403B plans, those 403B plans that are mainly used for nonprofits, teachers, and nurses. Now, they get entirely screwed. They get entirely fucked up with their plans. And that is because first and foremost, even though it's equivalent to a 401k, they are not covered under the Employment Retirement Income Security Act of 1974 that it is designed to protect employees. So they get royally screwed because now they have no protection by law. Their fees are even higher than those in 401ks. They get charged like 2% just for having a plan. Then they get charged with hidden fees up to 6%. Then they get charged for that actively managed mutual fund account of 1%. That is a whopping 9% a year of your retirement, of your savings, of your livelihood, of your nest egg, something that you're going to need, something that you're going to need when you retire and you don't work anymore. Are you freaking kidding me? You know, as Tony said in his book, fees are like termites. 
They're tiny and they eat away your fucking future. Now, he didn't say fucking, but you know how I roll. Now, those funds that are on your 401k list, those fund companies actually pay your provider to give you that particular plan. Now, it's a circle jerk and you're in the middle getting jerked while all of them are exchanging money and getting paid. Hey, what about this? They have a fee called the front end load, which is 3% that they actually charge you for buying your fund. Now, the jacked up thing about this is some companies and some organizations and some businesses, when you actually start working there, they enroll you into a 401k or a 403b without your knowledge, without your consent. Then some of you actually enroll them yourself without any questions. The only thing you understood was this is for your retirement, but you didn't ask how much it costs. Some of you did, but most of you even didn't ask how much it costs. What are the fees? What are the charges? What it all entails? And sometimes... Even the providers, your business, your organization, your, your place of work, they did not tell you. They did not even give you the list of detailed information, which is required by law, but you have to ask for it. Because if not, they won't disclose that information to you. Because you may find out things like they may get paid on the back end, which you'll never disclose. But if you do your research, you can find these things out. Now, most of these are ran by mutual funds We have a lot of associated fees with them because they are actively managed by a broker and all those hidden fees they do not let you know about. But this is the thing. Some of them actually have index funds, but they still charge you a whopping 1.68% on average to have that index fund running in your 401k where the actual cost of most index funds is 0.05%. That's over $3,000 in them getting paid off of you. Let me rewind it. They charge you 1.68% on index funds in your 401k plan or your 403b plan. And the actual cost of most index funds is 0.05%. You do the math. Do it on your calculator. I don't freaking care. Understand these percentages and understand how they're robbing and raping your accounts. So in short, not to be the dead horse, not to shoot a riding cowboy. Are 401k and 403 plans good? Yes, you have to do your research, but most plans are simply horrible. What is the answer? I have the answer, okay, guys? But you can also go out and do your own research for your own benefit. But my choice would be America's Best 401k. That's a company, America's Best 401k. They actually are transparent. They do not have mutual funds. They only deal in inexpensive, low-cost index funds like Vanguard and others. They have one fee, no markup prices, no hidden charges. So what is the answer? America's best 401k plans, okay? That is who you need to go with, in my opinion. They are transparent. They have no markup fees. They have one fee. They have no mutual funds. They have low-cost inexpensive index funds, no hidden costs, and on average, it's going to cost you 0.65%. Now, as I was stating earlier for those 43B plans, most of them are paying 9% a year. And when it comes to everyone else with those 401k plans, I say this for last, you're getting charged a whopping 7.75% out of your savings every year to actually have your 401k plan. So when you consider the numbers, 401k with your company, maybe 7.75, 401k with America's Best is around 0.65 a year. And on America's Best website, they have a fee checker also on showmethefees.com. They have a fee checker to show you how your fees and your 401k plan is really racking up and taking away from your life and your future. And my disclaimer, guys, I do not get paid by America's Best. I don't get paid by Tony Robbins. I don't get paid by Investopedia. I simply do the fact checking and the research to give to you for you to make the best possible decision. This is Ross World, where my money makes money and get your ass out of those high charging fee taking robbing snakes mother people and get your money back and get into a 401k plan that's actually going to help you to save for your retirement and for wealth. I'm out.